So you are trying to launch something in Windows and you get an error. The application has failed to start because its side-by-side -side configuration is incorrect. And the program that fails to start may be anything. It may be Chrome browser, it may be Steam, it may be some game, and in some cases it even may be some document files since they are also being opened by another application. If you try to Google how to solve this problem, you will come across three main solutions. The first one is to run some Windows repair commands, such as SFC scan now or maybe DISM. This is a very bad advice since those uh, utilities rarely fix anything and they are just a waste of time. The second advice is to reinstall Windows and this is actually a good way to solve all problems in Windows instead of using those utilities. The trouble is a lot of folks don't know how to reinstall Windows and they hide their reluctance to learn how to reinstall Windows by saying, oh, I have so many files that will take so long, you shouldn't be doing this, like so. And by the way, reinstalling Windows does not mean resetting Windows to factory settings. This option should be illegal. The proper way to reinstall Windows is reformat your drive completely, so there is nothing left. Then booting from a thumb drive with Windows installation media, reinstalling Windows, and then copying over all your files from the backups that you should be doing if your files are important, and also re-downloading and reinstalling all games and other applications. That's the correct way to have a fresh Windows install. However, if you don't fancy to do so, for whatever reason, the correct answer how to solve this problem is to fix your Microsoft Visual C redistributables. This is the correct answer to this problem, which is also copy-pasted all over the internet, and that is what you should do to fix this issue, regardless if you like it or not. So basically, what you need to do is to completely uninstall all Microsoft Visual C redistributables from your computer, starting from whatever year there is. Currently, there are redistributables going back to 2005. The peculiarity with Microsoft Visual C redistributables is that they do not supersede each other. That means that if a program was written using the 2008 redistributables, you must have those. You cannot install redistributables from 2024, for example, since they will not work. This is the difference between the redistributables and, for example, drivers, where usually the fresher the driver, the better it works. And all the programs that were working with the previous version of the driver will still continue to do so with the newer version. This is not true with redistributables. Programs are written for a specific version and you need to have all of those installed. So after you delete all the redistributables, you may go to Microsoft website where there is a cumulative package with all of them. However, I usually download a similar package from this website. It comes in an archive. You have to extract the files first. Do not run it from inside the archive. You need to unpack them first, then go to the folder where you have unpacked them and run the installation. It will clear up everything and install all the required redistributables. However, there are some funny things here. In some cases, the same error, which is fixed with the Visual C redistributable installation, is actually displayed when you are trying to install Visual C redistributable. The second funny problem is, even though everyone tells you that you need to fix the Visual C redistributables, when you try to uninstall them, they give you an error. So what you can do in this situation is first, trying to reboot your computer by pressing restart from the start menu. This will give you a clean boot, which doesn't utilize the uh, Microsoft Fast Startup option. Another bad feature from Microsoft. If you're unable to uninstall those redistributables even after that, you may try running that cumulative package I've shown. It should also delete the existing redistributables on its own, or you may use some other uninstalling tool, which are plenty on the internet. 
worst case scenario, you will have to clean install Windows and then clean install all the redistributables from that cumulative package I've shown. This will definitely fix this issue. I am the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells.